Hello and welcome to this episode of Packet Tracer. In this episode, we want to talk about using the config tab to configure devices. So let's get started. The purpose of using the config tab is to configure the device using a GUI display instead of the CLI mode. We can of course configure any aspect of the device using the CLI, but this config tab provides us with a GUI that's much easier to configure some common settings on this device. It is divided into four general level, the global level, the routing, switching and interface level. Let's go here to the global level. We have the settings, the display name of how this router or how this device will display in Packet Tracer. The host name is the name of this device in iOS config file. If we try to erase the NVRAM, that means to erase the conf startup configuration. And of course, we try to save to NVRAM, that means saving running config to NVRAM, saving running, running config to startup config. We can export both the startup config and the running config, and they will be exported inside TXT files. We can also load the startup file using a txt file or merge the running config using a txt file. And as such, we have the routing and the switching levels as well. The routing level provides us with some basic abilities to configure routing on this device. And the switching gives us some ability to configure VLANs on this device. And of course, the interface provides us with the ability to configure interfaces on this device. If I turn on this port status, that is equivalent of no shutdown in the CLI. We can configure the MAC address as we want to. By default, the MAC address is provided for us. We can configure the IP address. Let me configure one IP address in here, 192.168 dot one dot one and if i click on subnet mask field then a default subnet mask will be provided for me and when i close this window the settings are saved now let's go to this pc and see how we can configure this pc using the config tab in the pc we have only two levels of configuration the global level and the interface level in the global settings we have the display name we have the interfaces and we also have the ability to configure a gateway using DHCP or static IP addresses and we can also configure the DNS server. We can configure the IPv6 D gateway as well in here and the DNS server as well. If we go to the interface Fast Ethernet 0, we again have the ability to configure this interface using DCP or static IP address. Let's configure this one to 192.168.1.2. And if I click here, a default subnet mask is going to be provided for me. And that's it about using config tab to configure devices. I hope to see you in the next episode and stay tuned. Hello and welcome to this episode of Packet Tracer. In this episode, we want to talk about using the desktop tab. So not all devices have that desktop tab. Let's go to the router. As you can see, we don't have a desktop tab in our router. But let's go to the PC and we do have a desktop tab. Here in the IP configuration, we can change the IP configuration of this device. As you can see, I have some IP configurations already. I can change it to DHCP or I can set up some static IP addresses on my own. 192.168.2.5 with a default subnet mask. And if I copy this to the default gateway and change this to the one, that is my default gateway. Now let's close this. Now the settings is saved when I close it. You can see that we have other apps in here as well. We have the dial app. If we want to set up a modem network, then the dial app tab will be useful for us. We have a terminal so that if we want to access a device, a router or a switch using the SSH or Telnet applications, then terminal will be very useful for us. We have the command prompt. Maybe we can use the command prompt to show the IP config of this 
device. As you can see, the command prompt works the same as if it was on a real computer, although not all commands are available in Packet Tracer. We also have a web browser. If we want to browse HTTP web pages on a server, then we can use the web browser. And we do have a lot of other applications that we will go through them later on in this course. Now let's close this and go to the server. The server also has this desktop tab, as you can see. Not all of the applications that was available on the PC is available on the server. But the one thing that's more specific to the server is this AAA accounting. This is only available to the server and not available on desktop. And that's it for this episode, everyone. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the next episodes. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to this episode of Packet Tracer. In this episode, we want to discuss using the services tab. So let's go to this router. As you can see, the router doesn't have a services tab because it does not apply to a router to provide services like a server. Now let's go to the PC as well. As you can see in the PC, we also don't have the services tab as well because the PC does not provide any services. Let's go to the server because this is a server. That's why we have the services tab available. In the services tab, as you can see, there are many services that this server can provide for us, such as HTTP, DHCP, TFTP, DNS, and all of those. And if I click on any of these services, then I have the ability to turn off and on that service or to manipulate some settings for that service. Let's go to the HTTP setting. As you can see, by default, this server is an HTTP server and some HTML pages are also available for serving. So we can test out the services of HTTP on this server from this PC. If we go to the desktop tab, to web browser, and if I try to enter the IP address of the server, 192.168.2.1, then if I click go, you can see that the Cisco Packet Tracer web page has opened for us and that verifies that the server is running good and well. And that's it for this episode everyone. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the next episode. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to this episode of Packet Tracer. In this episode we are covering using the CLI tab of the devices. So let's go to the PC as you can see here, we don't have any CLI tab for the PC and we don't have a CLI tab for the server as well. The CLI tab is only available for the devices that they run the iOS operating system. So that's why we have the CLI tab to configure these devices using the iOS command line interface. Now let's get started. Let's enter a few commands like enable config t interface facetanet 0 slash 0 slash 0 and here I am I think it's a gigabit interface interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 and now here I am in the interface configuration mode I can issue a no shutdown command and I can set an IP address as well IP address 192.168.1.1 with a default subnet mask. And that's it. You see that the CLI tab works as if it was on a real device. To see the list of all of available iOS commands, you can refer to the help files. We do have the ability to paste into the CLI or to copy from the CLI using these two buttons. And that's it for this episode, everyone. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the next episode. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm.